Hey guys, Do It On A Dime here. So as you can tell by the title of this video, Go Meatless, I always get tons of questions from you guys on Facebook and in the comments of ways to save money on groceries other than through couponing. And truly, honestly, one of the biggest ways to save is by committing once a week to not eating meat and not having meat be a part of your dinner. And I know that that can be an especially daunting thing, especially for picky eaters like my husband, because if there's not beef or chicken or something, he feels like he's missing out on flavor, he doesn't feel as full, and he's just not as satisfied with the meal. So that's why I wanted to share this meal with you guys. It's black bean enchiladas, and seriously, nobody in your family is going to be left going, where's the beef? Because it's that awesome. You are left totally satisfied with this meal. It's very, very healthy, plus it's super easy to do. So I figured this would be a good time to share this recipe with you guys, and I hope you enjoy it. So here's the ingredients that you'll need for this recipe. I am going to share with you guys how I used coupons to make them even cheaper, but you don't need coupons because they are cheap on their own. The first thing you'll need are whole wheat tortillas. Mine are the Ortega brand, and since I had a coupon and they were on sale, they were less than a dollar. You also need finely chopped green onions as well as cilantro. We have that growing in our garden. You also need black beans. That is the key ingredient to this dish, which is basically like your meat. Mine is just 67 cents at my grocery store. And then you need six ounces of baby spinach. For me, this is the most expensive ingredient, so it's kind of the deal breaker. I wait for a sale before I make this recipe. You also need a cup and a half of frozen corn, and just make sure that it's thawed before you put it into the recipe. I just run it under some warm water for a minute or so and cheese. I just pulled this out of the deep freezer because they freeze so well. I always purchase these on clearance and with coupons. Now for the sauce. You can totally buy this sauce pre-packaged and it's very easy, but oh my gosh, if you spend five minutes, this sauce is seriously the best ever. So just take your saucepan and coat it with a little bit of olive oil and then add one of those six ounce jars of tomato paste and on top of that, a quarter cup of flour. And then you want to add two teaspoons of all of these ingredients. Cumin, garlic powder, onion powder, chili powder, and salt and pepper to taste. And I will have a list of all of those in the description for you guys. Now to all of that, you want to add three cups of liquid. I'm just adding a chicken bouillon broth, but you could also do chicken vegetable broth if you wanted to make it a true vegetarian dish. And you're going to stir this all together until it's boiling and thickening. And this usually takes about five minutes or so. Okay, so back to the enchiladas. If you're using pre-bottled sauce, you can just skip straight to this step. You're going to add your spinach to a pan and cover it up with a lid. You also want to make sure there's some olive oil in there and just saute it for a couple minutes until it looks like this. Now you want to take all the ingredients that I showed you guys earlier, the black beans, the cheese, the green onions, cilantro, and put it all into a mixing bowl along with your spinach. And you want to add a little bit of cumin, about two teaspoons should be just about right to give it more flavor in the enchiladas. And mix it all up. Now you want to coat the bottom of your baking pan with Pam and then take about a quarter of your sauce if you're using a jar or the homemade stuff that I showed you how to make here and line the bottom with it. And here is how to pack the perfect enchilada. You want about two spoonfuls or so of the filling and Charlie used to work in a restaurant so this is how he learned how to fold enchiladas. Sides up first and then curve it around and place the bottom side down into the pan. So he's gonna show you one more time. He was like so proud of his ability to be able to fold these and I'm proud of him too. Again, just two spoonfuls or so. You wanna fold up the sides first, then take the edge closest to you and fold it around, tuck it under and give it a little roll and you have the perfect enchilada. Then you wanna to top your enchiladas with the remaining sauce. And then take about a cup of cheese or so, the remaining cheese you have left, and just generously drizzle it over the top. And that's it. 
You want to bake this at 375 degrees for about 20 minutes or so. And when it comes out, it looks like this. Absolutely amazing and delicious. Look, even Luna wants some. Sorry, Luna. And this is an entire meal in and of itself. You have your vegetable, your protein, your starch, and it is seriously so good. If you guys make this meal, I would love for you to tweet me pictures or message me or send me a Facebook message to see how yours turned out. If you guys like this recipe, I have a link below as well as on the screen to easy recipes that I've done videos on to my playlist. And I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.